everyone and welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Are all of you getting ready for back to school? I thought it would be fun to take a look at some back to school miniatures. So I picked up this miniature collection of Sakura color products from Plaza Japan. And I got this eight box collection for $33 plus shipping. Now they do sell it on Amazon too, but it's like 67 some dollars on Amazon. So I'll have the links in the description box below. Let's check this out. Okay, so for the first box, let's see what's inside. Oh, okay. So this is the ink block. Set. And what a neat set this is. Oh my goodness. So it's got the piece that you would card for your print. Black ink. And this is a yellow bottle. I wonder if this is like the cleaner or something for it. Here's the tiny little roller that rolls. Oh. And then these would be your little tools that you would create the stamp with. So that's what's gonna make the little indention. And then we have um, maybe, not 100% sure what that thing is. Um, We've got some labels. Oh, this is the labels for our bottles. And then we have a little um, tray piece here. And here is the little paperwork it comes with. And normally, if you look inside, it will have, oh, here we go. On the back side, we have the print. So we'll cut that out. We'll just add the little labels on to our bottles here. There we go. There we go, like so. All right, so our next box is box. Okay, this is, okay, this is the one they call the craft box. Oh, look at this little cutting board. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the one with the working X-Acto knife. Okay, I've wanted this. I've wanted this really, really bad. All right, so we've got the little cutting board with all the little details and there's nothing on the back but cute 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 on the front and then this I have seen other people use this and if I'm not wrong I swear the blade pops out um, yes yes look at this oh my gosh so cool and I can't cut myself <laughs> Okay, so we got that, and then there is this little container, oh no, okay, oh, it's like a bottle, okay, so there's a bottom to this thing, and so this is supposed to be like a craft project or something. There is a little clay fish with some coral that goes inside the bottle. And then there is a top for the bottle. Oops. And the little starfish is stuck on the front. Okay, wait a minute here. I think it goes on. Oh. Maybe it doesn't go on. Maybe the idea is you cut the top off the bottle to make this little aquarium. 
I don't know. We also get this little pen, which is adorable. And it comes with And it comes with, is it a little piece of clay? Like you've been, or is it a shell? Maybe they made a shell. And then we have this little tube of glue maybe? Oh my gosh, you guys, the cover like screws on. Okay, and there's a label for this one, so let's find that. Okay, so the little red label goes on the glue. Or on the bottle, I should say. I'm not sure what it is exactly. So the only problem with remints is everything's kind of in Japanese. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to tell what they mean by it. Okay, um, there are more stickers. Hang on. I gotta figure this out. Okay, well, I'm not 100% sure. I think this one goes on the back of the bottle. And I don't know where the other sticker goes, but maybe I'll figure that out later. There is also um, the paperwork that goes with this has info that I cannot read and it's got little things you can cut out in the back and the box for whatever it is that comes in this tube. Not sure what it is, but again, the little top pulls off. It's so cute. All right, what will we find in box number three? such a fun set. Oh, oh, it's the illustrator set. Oh, it's so cute. If I can get the scissors to cut. All right. All right. So we've got a little easel that we can definitely use as a table easel. We've got the little apple that you're going to sketch. And we've got a regular eraser and a kneaded eraser. How cute is that? I remember that from art class. We have a board with clips and oh it's like a little pencil box oh it's so cute you guys oh can you imagine that in a little backpack it's so cute perfect size everything is pretty great size wise in this set and then we have a pencil and a dusting brush. These things are real. I looked them up. All right. And then for our little paperwork, we have what's inside and a pretty sketch of somebody sketching and the sketch itself that you can cut out and put on the easel. Let's check this thing out. How is this? Oh, I see. Okay. So they come apart. Oh, and you like clip them on the top and then they're going to hold your artwork and you'll set that on the easel. And we have another label. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. It goes on the eraser. Okay. So let's see here. Make sure I do this right. So I'm just gonna wrap that around 
your little eraser. How cute is that? Ah, tiny little things fall on the floor too often. All right, box number four. Oh yes, it's the little face. <gasps> oh my goodness, so cute. All right, we've got our sticker sheet here. And we've got our little tray, our little paint tray. Oh, that is so cute, you guys. And then all of our little paints, which are going to need their little labels. And here is the box that they come in. Okay, don't drop anything. Don't drop anything. <laughs> And then we've got the little water bucket, two-sided water bucket, and a paintbrush. Oh, it's like a paddle, you guys. It's got like a little handle here. It sits in there like so. <gasps> How neat is that? Oh my gosh. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna put these stickers on. Okay, some stickers are best applied off camera. So each of the paints came with a tiny little label and there was a large sticker to apply to the front of the box and it went on quite easily. It was very nice. For the paperwork for this one, we see what was inside. There's a cute drawing of someone doing watercolor. And there's some watercolors that you can cut out. All right, on to box number five. What shall we find next? Okay, it must be a coloring one. Oh, it's the little chalk pastel set. They're either chalk pastels or they did have these like jumbo crayons too. So not a hundred percent sure which ones they were. Okay, don't cut anything. There we go. All right. Let's see here. This is a little spiral bound coloring book. Super cute got like the it's just like a plastic piece on top that is super cool how they did that I wonder if I can make something like that all right and then this looks like a cover of a book this is a sticker and then we have some of our little crayons or pastels which I'm sure I'm going to have to apply all the labels to. <laughs> yep, here's some more stickers. Oh, here we go. Here's the little book. So we're going to put the sticker on that. And then here's the little tray for the crayons. And lots more crayons in here. So... We now, okay, yeah, this is like a full cover sticker. So if we grab this and then line it up with the front edge, see if I can do this on camera without messing up. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> That's looking super cute. Who doesn't want a book with a cute little panda on it? Aww. All right. 
All right, to apply the labels on the crayons, just put the white strip down first, and then you just roll it around and it applies it nicely. And then you can just oh, add it to the box like so. And then that big sticker went on the top of the box and it closes it up. How cute is that? The little paperwork for this one shows what's inside. Comes with a pastel or crayon picture. Very cute. This is definitely like targeted at stuff for kids and for schooling and stuff. All right, this is box number six. On six already. All right. Oh, okay. It's the origami set. Yay. It comes with origami paper so you can make miniature origami. It comes, oh, it comes with the, uh, oh dear, got the dropsies. It comes with a glue bottle which there's probably a label out there somewhere. Some scissors with a little tag on it. And they work. How cool is that? And we've got a little, oh, it's a little origami snail. Oh, can it zoom in? Look at how cute it is. So cute. Okay, and then these are our stickers. And it's like our little kit, our little box to put it all in. With like a bunny and a clown and a bird. Super cute. And hmm, another little pink. Okay, let's take a look at the paperwork from this one. We have the glue, which only, which has one pink top. Maybe I got a double in there, a little extra pink top. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but then we got somebody making origami on this side. And is this like origami art where you would put the little folded pieces and glue them to a sheet of paper or something? I don't know, it's cute. That's right, we gotta add our little label to the glue bottle. That's quite a nice little label. It's, def it's done on a clear sticker. It's got like, so you can see how much glue is left inside on the label. And like I said, the little top comes off. So fun. All right, we've got box number seven. We're almost finished here. Oh, you guys, it's the clay kit. Oh, I was looking forward to getting this one. What a neat set. Oh my gosh, everything has been so fun. So we have a little texture plate or mold set. And we have a bag that would have our clay in it. And we've got a sticker. And it's a little clay dinosaur. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Look at this little guy. The tail. Yep. Looks like somebody shaped it out of clay. Very fun. How fun would that be to make more miniatures like that? Oh, and this is our lump of clay, you guys. It's 
so cute. This is what it goes in the little the little box. So you put the clay in there, put the lid on top, and I'm guessing the sticker goes on the box. And then we have a little shaping tool that comes with it. <gasps> so fun! So fun! Here is our little paperwork. It says this is a clay set. We've got the kids playing with clay. I love these little illustrations in there. They're so cute. It's like a little scene. You would cut it out and set it up so your little dinosaur could stand in there. Oh, fun. Let's get that sticker on the box. Like so. There we go. Oh, so cute. I'm in love with this. My doll is going to be playing with clay. All right, we've got our last box here. Oh, this is the one that comes with the little figurine thing. Oh, this is so cool. For anybody out there who's an artist and loves miniatures, this is the set for you. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at, let's set this up. Okay, got it all uh, put in a special bag here. Okay. So it's got a little stand and then Okay, there's a little hole in the back. You stick the pole in and then stick it in. Huh. He's like sitting sideways. I wonder if there's a way to like shape it a little different. <laughs> oh. All right. What else do we got in here? Look at these pens, you guys. Oh, they're fabulous. Now I know where people get these cool pens. They're in Riemann sets. Oh, it's even got the little label on it. Oh my gosh. And then we have a sketch portfolio with actual leaf or like page saving pieces in it. Oh my gosh. Hmm. How would I make that? You guys, giving me so many ideas. We've got stickers and we've got a little pencil box type piece. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, and I dropped a pen. So there's three pens that, you know what? I bet this is a mechanical pencil and these are pens. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so we got what's inside the box. Okay, yes, my legs on my little guy are a little wonky, so I'm gonna have to work on that because it looks like it's supposed to be back farther like it's walking. And then we've got the little girl sketching, and we have three sketches that I'm assuming fit in our little portfolio. How cute is that? Um, and the sticker goes on the portfolio. Clear file, it says. Okay. Well, maybe it's just a file folder. I don't know. Let's see here. So this part is going to go on the front. Just, do any of you have a hard time getting stickers on right? And this is plastic and I can peel it right off if it's wrong. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, totally, you guys. If you're looking for back to school, school items for your doll miniatures, this is a great set to get. Don't forget, I'll add the links in the description box below. But I wanted to say, if you wanna make stuff for yourself, that is art items. Don't forget, I have an entire 
video called Do-It-Yourself Miniature Painting Tools and Supplies. So I will also have that link in the description box below. I've also made craft tools like hot glue guns and and your very own cutting boards. So I'll have links to all that in the description box. Oh, and we filmed this video in my miniature craft room, which I also teach how to make. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have that in the link too. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Poppy Seed Mini. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have fun crafting.